Hi Pisces, welcome in. What's the important message for Pisces? Okay, Aquarius got this. You could have Aquarius in your chart. It says, I am independent. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. Some of you guys are stepping into leadership roles. Okay. You're meant to be a leader of some kind. You're meant to lead the way, as a matter of fact. Uh, some of you guys are... I'm getting your meant to, you, you see things differently, Pisces, and that there's a reason for that. You know, there's a reason that you see things differently. There's a reason that your guides are wanting you to work alone right now. We're kind of just like, maybe even just for like a day, be independent from everyone, be by yourself, really, you know, sit with your thoughts and your emotions. I wanted to pull you another one. It says, I am practical. You are open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure that your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. You may need to take a step back and assess a situation, okay? Think about something before you impulsively take action on it is going to really help you in the long run. important messages for Pisces. Eight of Pentacles, you're working really hard on something here. Two of Pentacles, maybe you're not quite sure what to prioritize over what. Some of you guys are having a hard time maybe making a decision or hard time focusing on one thing at a time. Your guides are saying, as long as you put the work in, Pisces, you're going to see a return in your investment, okay? As long as you take a practical approach, and some of you guys need to, you know, be independent from a situation, the world. You're going to be very accomplished here. As long as you put the time, time, effort, and energy into something, you're going to be successful at it. More money. Yeah, wow. Some of y'all might have a strong Aquarius placement. You don't have to, but I'm, I'm definitely seeing more money, okay? You reaping rewards and benefits from, you know, putting your time and energy into something. I just feel like some of you guys are having a hard time. Maybe you're having a hard time with, uh, you know, multitasking or having a hard time with, you know, going with one direction. You could be a jack of all trades. You could be somebody that likes multiple things and you're just having a hard time figuring out what you should prioritize over what. So what's the advice on that? What's the advice on that? I saw the justice card. I feel like, you know, Matt, you know, whatever's, whatever is reciprocating your energy, that's what you should be focusing on the most right now. Whatever you're most passionate about. Strength card. Whatever brings you... Focus on the things you're passionate about and you can't go wrong. Okay, is what I'm getting. Prioritize your passions. Prioritize the things that are also giving back to you, in a sense. We have the lovers. Yeah, look at that. Six of Pentacles. Whatever is returning its investment to you, that's how you're going to know what to focus on. The Hermit. Some of you guys do need to find some solitude or, you know, if you're having a hard time focusing, meditation is going to be the key. I also feel like affirmations, waking up in the morning, saying your affirmations, listening to affirmations before you fall asleep and when you wake up in the morning. But your guides are really saying meditation is the key to your success, especially if you're in this two of pentacles energy of like not quite sure what to focus or how to focus. Meditation. Meditation. Because that knight of wands, I also feel like, you know, you could be bouncing around. Your focus is bouncing around there. I'm feeling called to pull you one more card here. I need another message for Pisces. Okay, yin yang. 
the twin flame card, which talks about you complimenting, you and someone else complement each other very well. Stability, security, growth, flexibility. There's someone here you're connecting with Pisces and you guys work really well together, but your guides are asking you to, you know, seek independence from this connection right now. In order to provide, you know, in order to make a connection stable and secure, there's something here about you seeking your own independence, your own personal growth. It's going to be, it, it's very important for you to do that. It's just the message I'm getting. Moving on to the singles. So who is coming toward my single Pisces? Okay. Well, someone really impatient. I'm getting this person is really impatient. Okay. Could be a Sagittarius, but the temperance in reverse. Hmm. Controlling. Y'all be, be careful. Be careful. You got someone controlling, impatient. Five of pentacles. Has this person already abandoned you in the past? You have either someone coming back from your past or a similar energy that's coming in to test you, Pisces. Your guides are wanting you to, you know, recognize your worth here. There's a test coming in. Are you going to repeat the past? Queen of Wands. Eight of Wands. Ten of Cups in reverse. So, someone, someone that your values don't align with this person. I feel this person really caused you to struggle or it's a similar energy. It's like, it, it's... I don't want to call it unrequited love, but that's kind of what I'm getting. It's like an unrequited situation. And what I mean by that, it's like this person, they're very impatient, but at the same time, they make other people wait. This person is not, I see somebody love bombing you and then taking it away. Love bombing you, then taking it away. So that's who's coming toward you, single Pisces, and you should be very mindful of that. Because this person is operating from an unhealthy ego, an unhealthy, like they're operating from their shadow side. And you're going to pick up on this very quickly. But it's telling you there's going to be a temptation to allow this person in your energy. Hold on, you got a card that fell. You got a couple cards that fell. Two of cups in reverse. Disharmony. I feel like you guys have separated from this person or you broke up with this person. Or this person reminds you of that person. Judgment in reverse. Yep, you're, you're being tested. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is about self-discipline. Feeling stuck. Do not put energy and effort into people who are not putting energy and effort into you. The minute you realize this person is neglecting you or, you know, the minute you realize they're playing mind games with you, you need to take a giant step back, if not turn around completely and walk in the other direction. Okay. Let's see. We're going to take a look at the new person. So those of you that have a new person of interest, let's take a look at that person. Okay. So the new person that has caught Pisces eye, the new person. Four of Swords. Well, they're thinking about you. There's not a whole lot going on in this connection, though. There's not a whole lot of movement. How do they view Pisces right now? How do they currently view Pisces right now? The Sun? Uh, you being a source of their happiness, this person is excited when they see you. 
energized when they see you. I'm actually getting like, you know, if you look at their facial expressions, they light up when you walk in a room. They light up when they see you. The star, oh, this person really wants you. You're a wish of theirs. But the Four of Swords, there's not really a whole lot of movement. I think this is someone that's taking their time. This is someone who loves when you're in the same room as them. They love when you, you know, this the star of the sun. They, they just love when you're around. How do they feel about Pisces right now? How do they feel about Pisces right now? The Hermit. Eight of Wands, Five of Swords. They do feel like there's some conflict here. Page of Pentacles. The conflict has to do with communicating. This person feels the need to withdraw. Five of Swords, Eight of Wands, the Hermit. The reason why they're... I don't like that, though. You know, I'm not saying this person's a bad person. I just feel like... They feel like they need to dial back their level of interest in you. Somebody's trying, it's almost like a, um, a game, like someone wants you to communicate with them, but this person could go from ignoring you to showing interest. Oh my God, this seems like a theme. So they want to move things forward, but the way they're going about it is not doing anything. So somebody here with the four of swords, even like the hermit, I think this person in their mind, they they think that they need to withdraw just a little bit in order to get you to, in order to pull you in, so to speak. Okay. What are their true intentions for Pisces? What are their true intentions right now? Nine of Swords. Make you crazy. And I say that <laughs> they're trying to cause some sort of mental conflict that causes you to come in their direction. They think this is this is a tactic that they use to get people to notice them and they're trying to use it on you. So there are some games here. Okay. You know, this person may feel as if you left them on red too, or this person may feel as if you backed back. This person may feel like you're ignoring the, the signs. And so they're playing, they're, they're playing along. Okay. Is what I'm getting. What are their next actions? What is this person's next actions toward Pisces? Thank you guys for liking the video, by the way. Five of Wands, conflict, battle. This is like battle of the sexes or battle of the egos, guys. So, you know, whoever this person is, I'm not saying they're a bad person. I'm just saying that, you know, they really like you and they think that how they can get you more interested in them is by backing away. You know, playing hot and cold is really what I'm getting. The devil. Mm -hmm. Further clarification. This is, you're going to have to quickly set a boundary with this person or it may become a pattern in the relationship. Don't feed the monster. Don't feed the ego. Some of you guys may, okay? Some of you guys may like partaking in this game, but the best way to win at this type of situation is by not playing at all. And if somebody truly is interested in you, if someone's truly, if they truly like you, they're going to come forward either way. And I feel like your advice here is to not let somebody have control over your emotions because it looks like that may be what they're trying to do. 
Okay, so yeah, somebody likes you. Somebody's excited about you, but they're being a little toxic by the way they engage with you because they do like you so much and they think that's how they're going to get you interested in them. Capricorns here, Aquarius, Virgo, Leo, could be any sign though. All right, we're going to take a look at the person that you have some history with. This is um, someone you have established a past with. There's some history there. I'm going to change this category to the person you're thinking about. Melissa, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that, babe. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you all for hitting the like button. I appreciate it. It really does help the algorithm of the channel. I appreciate your support. that you have some sort of history with. Let's see. Luna bug, honey, baby. Can you not do that to mommy's tapestry? Thank you. Okay. So this person that Pisces has a history with, how do they see Pisces right now? They see you as someone they wish to communicate with, they desire. This person has a strong emotion for you. What is that about? They're obsessed. They're obsessed with you, fixated on you. They want you back or they just want to keep you. I do think this person, how do I want to say that? You know, this person thinks that you may be trying to, or you may have tried to manipulate them emotionally in the past. They, they do see you as someone who was emotionally manipulative or that you tried to manipulate something here. But the reason why I, you know, I'm actually getting this is pro they're projecting that onto you. This is something that they do. So they're assuming you do that as well. So, you know, like pot kettle, right? They didn't get their way. Five of Cups. That's why they think you're emotionally, but you didn't give them what they wanted or you didn't give them, they didn't get their way with you. And so that's why they think that you either, you know, gave them false hope, led them on, or they're, they're blaming you. They're saying you're the emotionally manipulative one. But I think that's because they got their hopes up thinking you were going to give them something and they never got it or they lost it, whatever that is. How do they feel about Pisces right now? How do they feel about Pisces right now? The Fool, they want to come back. The Fool, Four of Swords. They feel this over, you know, the Four of Swords as a feeling is like overwhelming. Like it's, it's somebody who, who did take a step back, but they have this overwhelming urge to take a leap of faith in your direction. They have this overwhelming. Uh, tell me more about that. Death card. Yeah, they want to resurrect the situation. Five of Swords. You outsmarted them. They feel as if you outsmarted them or you played them at their own game. And so now this person is kind of, I feel like they may have lost pride or, you know, it's like you bruised their ego in a way with the Five of Cups. And then now they're wanting to resurrect the situation because they're like, I'm not done with you. Um, they're not, <laughs> oof, 
they're not done with you. They're not done with this. They're coming back for round two. Chantel, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you, babe, so much. Thank you. Interesting. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. So, y'all, they just can't let you go. I do think they obsessively think about this. Um, it's, an unhe it's unhealthy how much they think about this, guys. Unhealthy. And I feel like they go to one extreme to the next. It's like they go from blaming you. They go from thinking that you got, you outsmarted them or you out, you out manipulated them. And now they want to come back for round two. They want to resurrect the situation, but they're just, it's, it's an overwhelming urge to take a leap of faith in your direction. But I feel like there is some fear with the death card. Let's see, let's see. Two of Wands in reverse. Y'all, they lack direction. This person, okay, so just know when they come back in your direction, Pisces, they don't really know what they want to do. All they know is they need to be around you again. They need to communicate with you again, but they still lack direction. They still have no idea where they're going with this, okay? Page of Cups. Person's emotionally immature. I think you know that. I think you know that. Hmm. Strength card. Yeah, your strength. Your you're about to get tested. You are about to get tested, my love. Dana, Dane. Oh my goodness, babe. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Chantel, I love you too. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I love y'all. Dana, Dane, thank you, babe. I don't know what to say. That's, you're so generous. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. The strength card, two of wands in reverse. Give me one more card for that energy. the world. Whoever has been at a distance from you, whether emotionally or physically, this person is coming back in to test your will. So it's like this person, how do I say that? And then we have the Ace of Swords that wanted to come out. You made this person feel rejected, whether you realize it or not. Pisces. They feel a sense of loss and rejection from you. They feel a sense as, you know, you outsmarted them in a way. And so now this person wants to come back for another round of this battle of the battle of wit or they're like, nah, Pisces isn't that strong. Pisces is just held back from me because Pisces hasn't seen me. But the second Pisces actually sees me, I'm going to make Pisces weak in the knees. That's what they think. Dana, thank you so much, babe. I love you too. I appreciate you. Thank you. So what's Pisces advice? Oh yeah, look at that. Eight of wands, knight of wands. They're coming in. They're coming right back. They're going to ride in very passionately and suddenly. Okay. What's Pisces advice? What is Pisces advice? Love yourself, queen of cups. Love yourself, honey. The star. Do some self-love. Do some, some self-care. Whatever makes you feel good about yourself, whether this is just like getting your hair done, your nails done, or, you know, just eating well, taking care of you, doing the things. Sometimes self-love is also about doing things we don't necessarily feel like doing in the moment, but our future selves will thank us for this. So your guides are really wanting you to love yourself right, right now, really wanting you to work on your emotional health and your healing and Give me one more card. The hanged man. Practice the pause. Do not impulsively. You're good. You may want to. You may want to. There's no doubt here you and someone have feelings for each other. We got a king and a queen of cups. There are feelings there. I just feel like the ego is overpowering the situation. 
okay? But your guides are saying, do not allow anyone for that matter, but especially this person, do not allow them to, you know, get you to emotionally react because that's why the Knight of Wands that was at the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Wands, this person wants to come in and trigger you. And they feel as if they come in and catch you off guard that you're going to confess everything. You won't even have to say anything. Your face, your facial expression is going to say it all to them. The way you are triggered by their presence is going to say it all to them. And that's what they're looking for. So this is about you working on yourself right now. Not necessarily waiting around for this person, but kind of staying prepared for this energy to resurface. Because I do see that happening. And in the meantime, you know, work on surrendering, work on accepting, work on accepting the situation for how it is, accepting people for how they are, and doing your inner healing work. And really just put... Putting all that love that you give to everyone else, put it into yourself. That's your advice. I'm going to pull their hidden truth. Let's see. Dana, thank you again. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate you. And Chantel, thank you, babe. Thank you guys so much. The main signs that I have here... Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, strong Aquarius, Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio again, Virgo, could be a Gemini for some of y'all, an Aquarius, but those are just the main signs, could be any sign. Let's pull their hidden truth for Pisces, please. Spirit, what is their hidden truth? What does Pisces need to know? hidden truth. They bury them. Well, this person is obsessed with you. They're so obsessed. They're trying to focus on other things. They bury themselves in work to forget you, but you know, there it's not, ha it's not working. It's not working. Mm -mm. There's something about you. They just cannot get you off their mind. And it's, I'm going to tell you why they can't get you off your mind because they're a mind. They can't get you off their mind because you didn't feed into something. You didn't there. You didn't give this person something or, you know, they couldn't they, it, it, There's something about you that they didn't necessarily get everything they wanted from you. And so now they're fixated on that. I feel like, you know, you, you're you different. There's something about you that was different. And so you stand out a lot in this person's mind. Tell me more. They want to start over? I bet they do. They want to start over. You're a lot smarter than they thought you were. So it's kind of like they wish they could go back and recognize that. Because I think this person underestimated you. Give me another one. They miss seeing you. And the bottom of the deck says, I wish things could be different. So I do feel like as of today, when you're watching this reading, they miss you and they feel, you know, they wish they could go back and do and, and treat you differently. They wish they could go back and, and do things differently. That's another reason why they can't get you off their mind. Because it's kind of like a missed opportunity. We're going to do all signs, their sign. This is if you're dealing with this sign. I have to say, I know this word gets thrown around a lot. Not everybody is a clinical narcissist, but... It almost feels like that person has some, some narcissistic qualities to them. Some, and I mean, like, uh, you know, I know that word gets, that gets tossed around a lot, but it's like, 
that person's so bothered by the fact that they could not take advantage of you. Okay, or, or you saw through them, or at least they, your actions toward the situation, the way you handled yourself in the situation makes them think you outsmarted them. And that's, that's another thing that just, it kind of eats away at them. All right, all signs, their sign. This is if you're dealing with this sign. Also, guys, I'll be doing the without you live soon. Um, probably not today. I have an appointment I have to get to actually here very soon. Um, but I'll be doing that sometime this week. Before, before Sunday, definitely. Hi, Karen. Hi, everybody. Hi, Brandy. Thank you again, Dana. I know I, I know I'm so I know I keep thanking you. It's probably annoying, but <laughs> thank you so much. I you just don't even know how much I appreciate y'all. And I appreciate you guys for liking the video too. Okay, Aries through Pisces, please. If you're dealing with an Aries, they want to resurrect the situation. They, they're afraid to communicate, though. There's some fear surrounding communication. They want to reunite if you're dealing with a Taurus. Dang. This Taurus just wants to be a part of your life any way they can. And it's telling me they want to come back together or just get together in general. If you're dealing with a Gemini, oh my God, two of cups. However you feel about the Gemini is how they feel about you. I'm getting strong, intense emotions between the both of you. Kyle, that Gemini feels like you're the one. If you're dealing with a Cancer, why temperance? They want to heal through this conflict. They want to work it out with you. If you're dealing with a Leo, Eight of Pentacles, they want to work something out with you. The Leo wants to show you that they're consistent. The Leo is going to put more effort in. Let's see. Ten of Swords. The Leo know that they the Leo knows they hurt you in some way and they want to work things out with you. I'm also getting the Leo doesn't want it to be over. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Sun. My God. What are y'all doing to people, Pisces? <laughs> the Virgo, you you just light them up. I, I just feel like if the, anytime the Virgo sees you, uh, you know, whether they see you on social media or speaks or anytime the Virgo speaks with you, you just, you energize them. You make them incredibly happy. I'm, I'm also getting, they just, they want to see you. If you're dealing with a Libra, they're coming towards you. It's, it's very slow moving energy, but they're coming in. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Queen of Swords. Hmm. The Scorpio is bitter because you either put your foot down in the situation or, you know, the Scorpio is bitter that they didn't get something from you. I think the Scorpio is holding a grudge. Those of you dealing with a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, a really strong attraction there. They want you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, I see a message coming in from a Capricorn. What is that about? Queen of Wands. Some of y'all might even get a picture from this Capricorn. A very provocative picture from a Capricorn. Or, you know, somebody here trying to initiate. Someone wants to initiate a conversation and they're going to do it in a very um, flirty way. Someone's going to, this Capricorn is trying to be sexy is what it's telling me. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, there's a new beginning between you and Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the world, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is not over between you and the Pisces, okay? I do think the Pisces is, the Pisces was non-committal in the past, but I feel like the Pisces is wanting to revisit a connection with you to start over. It's telling me there's something about an end of a cycle and a start of a new cycle with you and a Pisces. All right, everybody. 
So I hope you guys got some clarity out of this. To my super chatters, uh, I really appreciate you guys so much. And everyone that hits the like button, I appreciate you guys. Thank you again, Melissa, for the super chat. Chantel, thank you so much. And Dana Dane, babe, I really appreciate you guys. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Don't forget to hit the like button. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.